Hi guys, Nick60 here for the uh, G36E review, and this is requested by Delita197, in game name Captain988. And uh, so, yeah, let's just uh, jump right in. You'll see me doing some stuff that I should be doing, and some stuff that I shouldn't be doing in this map. Some of it's intentional, some of it's just me forgetting. I'm uh, not accustomed to the G36E. Uh, I'm out. Uh, I typically am using uh, submachine guns, rush in real close to the guy, but oh well. So the G36E is one of the heaviest battle rifles. It, I mean, uh, it's not like really bad. It's not like lugging around a machine gun, but for a battle rifle, it's a little slower. Um, it's also one of one of the two long-range battle rifles out there. Um, the other one is the AK-47. But the big difference is recoil and spread. The AK-47 recoils a whole lot more and has a lot more spread. But I think it does, uh, I'm pretty sure, well I know it does more damage and I'm pretty sure the bullets carry further. Uh, but the G36E has that really nice uh, sniper scope on it that you can see me using there. So uh, that's uh, the big reason why it's preferable to the AK. Though people get used to the AK uh, you know, a number of them have said they like it better, but uh, oh well. And that's something that I uh, that you should not do is zoom in at that range. I should have just uh, t stuck with the crosshairs. Um, let's see now. You have to forgive me if I forget forget stuff for uh, pause for. Uh, I'm gonna go with the phrase too long. Uh, it's finals time here at college, and I am low on sleep. So, yeah, anyways, uh, at medium ranges, you, at medium and short ranges, you should be fine with automatic. At long ranges, you're going to want to be uh, tapping for sure. That's a big mistake that a lot of new users use is they try to go full auto with the sniper scope zoomed in, and that's not going to work. It's a battle rifle. It, it fires too fast and it recoils too much. Uh, the gun doesn't do uh, particularly well at close range. I mean, you can make it work, particularly if you're good with it. But if you're just learning uh, your way around the gun, you're probably going to want to pick something else for close range. Um, let's see now. Reload's pretty good. The only modification I would recommend for the magazine is probably a uh, Extended Mag 1. You don't get enough of a payoff with Extended Mag 2 on the on the G36 and the uh, reduced mags I think uh, I don't think they do enough for you to, to warrant it um, that was a combination of auto and tapping I could have done that a whole lot better um, let's see for uh, obviously you can't get a uh, scope modification um, let's see now for uh, barrel mods you can uh, S1 suppressor is a good idea if you're learning the gun and S2 and S3 once you get hang of the gun is great for uh, those sniping battles when you don't want to be seen uh, let's see now that covers mods that covers basic usage remember to stick to medium to long range when you can um, there are a whole bunch of uh, G36 variants out there. There is the uh, G36KE, which I have done a review on and should probably redo at some point. There is the uh, G36C, which I have not used, but it's like, a, well, I picked it up off of people, but that's about it. It's a really short version without the scope. And there is the uh, MG36, which is the machine gun variant, and the uh, G36E Valkyrie, which is the base uh, base NX variant. And as far as I know, the only differences are cosmetic. It looks a little different, and you buy it using NX instead of gear points. As best I know, those are the only differences, but having only picked it up off of people for a short periods of time, I cannot say that for certain. So, yeah, that pretty much wraps it up for the G36. Uh,
good solid gun, particularly if you like to stick to bigger maps. Uh, if you need a battle rifle for, say, Snow Valley or something, it's a great gun for that. Better than running around with your M16 or something on that map for sure. So, yeah, that covers it for the G36E review. Coming up next is either the PP19 camo or MK48 camo. But, yeah, so... Nick 60 sign off. See you guys later.